This is the Voice Coach Podcast for all the tips and tricks on getting the most out of your speaking voice. I'm Nick Redman and I'll be sharing everything you need to know to keep your voice healthy, sounding great and working the way it should. If you're an actor, voiceover, speaker, presenter or podcaster, you're in the right place. Hopefully it'll be a wee bit of crack too. Let's get started. Hi there, Voice Pal. How you doing? Thanks for coming back. Warning. This next bit gets a little bit festive. <laughs> ho, 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 MG, am I right? It is December when I'm recording this. And yes, apologies if you're listening from the future. And it's not December anymore, but there we are. That's how podcasts and time works. <laughs> anyway, I'm in the middle of a hilariously titled run of voice information on Instagram, which I am festively calling the 12 Days of Tipsmas. I know. Who came up with that? Me, all by myself. (laughs) I'm really proud of it. Anyway, it's a fun, informative, silly kind of way of me just to get some more information to you over Christmas. Because if there's anything we need over Christmas, it's help with our voices. Let's be honest. We got the family around. They're really noisy. You have a little bit to drink. Maybe you get a little bit dehydrated, okay? I see you. I hear you. So, 12 Days of Tipsmas is 12 Days of Tips. Shock horror all about the voice. And if you're not on Instagram, I figured I should uh, give them to you in a different way so you don't feel excluded. They'll be all over my social media anyway. So if you're on Facebook or whatever, then do have a look. But here we go. Here are the first six of the 12 days of Tipsmas. Insert jingly jangly sound here. Right, day one. Remember you have a body. Yes, below your larynx. (laughs) Sure, your voice is literally made in the larynx, but please remember that you have an entire body around it that's also involved. Like everything you do with your body impacts on the freedom and response of the voice. So check in on your alignment, you know, notice where you hold tension, notice how the breath moves within the body. Those three things, alignment, tension and breath, and checking in on those will give you all the clues to what your voice might need. So just think about it. Maybe write them down and have a little reflect. All right, day two. As if conditioned, number two, it's stay hydrated. I had to have this one in there. I can't give voice advice without saying stay hydrated. I would implode, especially at Christmas. And it's an oldie, you know, but it is a goodie. You have to stay hydrated for feck's sake. And no, it doesn't have to be boring oil water. It can be cordial or fruit juice or tea or even coffee counts towards your overall systemic hydration like it's still a liquid. So get those fluids in. And before you ask, my dear, no, booze doesn't count, even mulled wine, even though it's warm. (laughs) You might get a little tension release if you have a few mulled wines, but it won't help with your hydration. So we all know what Christmas is. I'm not saying you can't have the old wine. Just chase it with some other non-alcoholic beverage and you'll be grand. So what is in your mug? That's what you got to think. All right, number three, work with ease. Literally my entire body softened when I just said the word ease. (laughs) There's no pride. Like you don't get an award for pushing your voice further than you need to. And voicing really shouldn't be effort. It should be easeful. Is that a word? Who knows? But I like it. Easeful. And ease doesn't mean relaxed or low energy or totally chill. Ease means efficient and working well. Thank you to the glorious Barbara Heisman for reminding me of that. I've been having some sessions with her on my own voice and it is the idea that ease isn't relaxed and laid back and chill and all like this high and quiet. It's that ease means efficient and working like it should. So check in on your voicing today. Does it feel harder than it needs to be? And if so, you might want to just revisit some of your technique, maybe go back to some of the earlier episodes and work on alignment or breath or a few of those things mentioned in tip one about having a body. So think on a scale of one to 10, you know, how much ease are you speaking with today? And track that over the festive period. Day four, Reflect on your own diet, please, and thank you. Don't listen to the noise, the chaos in social media. You know, no coffee, cut out dairy, avoid alcohol, don't eat spicy food, eat an apple, drink some ancient tea that you don't have the recipe for. It's all nonsense if you don't know your own body. And in the words of the brilliant Dane Chalfin, nothing that you eat, drink, suck or chew goes anywhere near your vocal folds. (laughs) It might feel nice, it might relax you in the mind space a bit, but it's not doing anything to your actual voice. 
please don't take all the vocal health advice given in forums as gospel. You know, do some of your own research, scientific, experiential, before making any huge dietary changing. Does eating healthily help overall? Sure. Might coffee exacerbate your reflux? It might, but check in on yourself first. You know, no need to get Dr. Ancient's rare herbal tea that's not available anywhere anymore on bulk order and give up coffee and cheese if you don't really need to, especially at Christmas, or as I'm calling it, cheesemas, because of all the cheese we eat in my house. <laughs> all right, day five, focus on the outbreath. As they say in accent method breathing, if in doubt, breathe out. It really is the root to all when it comes to an efficient and supported breathing mechanism, you know, letting the breath go. If you let the breath go, the in-breath will happen in some form. You just got to let the out-breath, well, out. (laughs) Once you learn to let it go, you can learn to let it in in the most efficient way and then learn to let it out and use it for voice in the most supported way but you have to learn to let it go. So as you travel through each day, just notice if you have a tendency to hold the breath. If you do, each time just say to yourself, Oi, mate, let it go. (sighs) So just let that breath out now. How does that feel? Were you holding? You know, did you even know if you were holding? Very interesting thing to reflect on. And finally, tip six in this first instalment of the 12 Days of Tips, Miss... It's find the floor. I'm sure it's a dance term, actually, but the floor is your friend. You know, we tend to get all up in the chest and shoulders when we speak and even up in the head and face because, well, that's where your voice comes out. And this can lead to a less efficient vocal system as there's tension in the breathing or issues with the alignment. So next time you go to talk, present, record, communicate, whatever it is, Just take a minute to drop your attention into your feet, wiggle your wee toes, bring your focus down to the floor. Feel the floor, feel those three tripod points, one on the heel of the foot, two in the balls. And then just working upwards, release the knees, let the bum drop, let the spine feel long, the shoulders fluid, the neck free. But know that the floor is there to support you, use it. It's really all about avoiding that kind of rock from side to side or that standing into one hip or that crossing your feet over and standing with yourself all screwed up like a corkscrew. Just put your feet under the hips, feel the floor and take that energy from there. Classic kind of chigung vibes. Well, wasn't that fun? I mean, not hugely festive. It's just voice tips after all. (laughs) Sure. But look, any excuse to get them out there. And like I say, if you've got your in-laws and your kids and your cousins and your aunties and your uncles and all your family over bawling at you for turkey and more eggnog, then maybe what you actually do need is a little way to look after your voice. I know that things get a little bit loud in the Redmond house at Christmas. Maybe that's an Irish thing. (laughs) Anyway, All these tips are on Instagram if you want to see them in another format. And if you want to get the next six, six to 12 or seven to 12. No, I don't do maths. If you want to get those before the podcast comes out next week, then yeah, go to Instagram at Nick Red Voice. And if you want more of this glorious nonsense in the new year and more detail, then get yourself into the show notes and sign up for New Year, New Voice, which is a whole week of free sessions I'm doing in the Voice and Accent Hub in January because we've got to start ourselves on the right foot, don't we? Or should I be saying on the right fold? Who knows? I'll work on it. All right. Ho, 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 over and out, <laughs> my voice friend. Yeah, I shall milk the puns until New Year. Good day. Thanks for listening to the Voice Coach Podcast. To get the most out of your voice, come on over to our free community on Facebook, The Voice and Accent Hub. See you in there.